we continue on the search for those beautiful, affordable new construction homes here in the Ocala, Florida area, specifically Marion Oaks. Welcome back to another video. I hope you are all having an amazing day. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Wendelie Quinones, and in this channel, I have committed myself to providing you guidance in your real estate journey here in the beautiful Sunshine State and finding you the best deals. So if this is something of interest to you, make sure you subscribe to this channel, like this video, and turn on that notification bell so that you don't miss any of my weekly videos. In today's video, we are back in Marion Oaks, Florida. We're gonna see a home that is concrete block, a three bedroom, two bathroom home, 2,209 square feet, sitting on a 0.34 acre lot with amazing finishes. Now, one of the things that I do wanna talk about since we're out here in the front is the fact that we do have gutters. I get questions a lot regarding the gutters, why it's not including, and this builder includes that and so much more in this model. Now, another thing, this home has a two car garage with a nice long driveway where you can fit at least four more vehicles. And you have a lot of space out here where you can fit some more vehicles if you have a big family or if you do a lot of get togethers, this is a perfect place for you. Now, one of the things that I wanna point out is how beautiful the exterior of this home is. Again, it is a concrete block home. It does have the gutters and on top of the gutters we have this beautiful landscaping that they did this is one of those builders where they pay attention to those minor details that matter so much and then another thing that i really really love is when the builders put the stones here as you can see we have stones here on the um, outside exterior wall we have these beautiful light fixtures you have light fixtures out here you have it um, out in the little porch area and in the back cover lanai yes we do have a back cover lanai it does have a um, light fixture with a fan and that's something that you'll see when we go throughout the video i'm going to point out all of those little small details that the builder added on just for you now without further ado let's go ahead and take a look at the inside all right so welcome inside this beautiful home now the first thing you're going to notice when you first walk in is this beautiful open concept many builders are, are doing this open concept floor plan and one thing that i want to point out before we continue on is that the entire house is in luxury vinyl plank flooring so you will not see any carpet anywhere in this home it's a beautiful style beautiful colors a little bit bigger than the um standard ones that a lot of the builders have been using so it, it looks a lot nicer they already have the walls painted everything coincides again they thought about all those small details now right now where i'm standing is the living area you can see we have of course our wall where we're gonna put our big huge tv to watch our movies on the weekends it's a great time to get together and just enjoy time as a family you can put a nice sectional here or if you're somebody who doesn't like sectionals and you want a love seat and a couch you can fit that here now right in front to this way we have this little area it can technically be considered maybe like a formal area if you want to put um, a little dining table here or maybe you can even um, put chairs here to just sit out if you want to read a book if you do yoga this can be like a nice little section let me know in the comments what would you do to this section right here um, if this were your home now one thing that they do have is a little closet here they did not miss out on closet space here i know that's also very important so we have a nice storage closet here so you can put all your shoes if it's rainy your coats whatever you need 
All right, now from this little area here, we're gonna keep walking. This is where the laundry is. We're gonna go there in a minute. We're gonna finish seeing the social area first. So now we're walking over here and now we are in what's considered the dining area. So now typically we know that the island and the dining area are right next to each other. So this can easily fit a nice table with probably about six um, chairs, very comfortably. Rectangle will probably be best, but you can definitely put a circle one if you're more into that. Um, and then it goes out to the covered lanai, which we're gonna see that later on through the video. And now we're gonna continue on and we're gonna go into this beautiful kitchen space that this builder created. So now one of the things I want to point out is that the builder did include 42 inch um, cabinets. So they're the very tall ones. You have this beautiful quartz countertops that not many builders are, are including in their homes. And then you have this nice area here. You can definitely make this maybe a coffee station if you want. The builder does include your appliances. So you get your dishwasher, you get your stove, your microwave and your refrigerator. We also have, um, you get cabinets and drawers in this one and they're all soft clothes beautiful i love the color another great thing that this builder did in the kitchen is of course the sink overlooking the backyard from the, the little window that they include here it's beautiful it is a double sink but if that's not your style maybe change it out but it is deep it's really nice you get this nice handle here clean it up whatever you need another thing that they did was they included something here so that you can put the towel if you want to um, dry out the sink when you're done washing the dishes and they also included these nice shelves this would be great to add a little decoration and just make the house look very very pretty and very homey now of course we have to have a pantry so they did include a pantry space here it doesn't have the rack as of right now but they are going to be seeing the rack so just wait on it and then you have the area here where you have the stove and the microwave you have nice a uh, good amount of space here if you want to prep food maybe a little cookbook on this side if you want to put your coffee over there instead of over here you can do that and you see that the stove is actually a good quality stove very nice it's one of those um, gourmet style let's just call it a stove tops now in front of this we have this nice long island space there's no sink so it's a plus because you have this space completely to do whatever you want you can put at least three chairs on this side a nice place to put out your appetizers the holidays just finished finished out but for the upcoming holidays you can definitely um, put out your drinks here your appetizers your little snacks maybe the chocolate covered um, strawberries the Christmas drinks on this side but a lot of space on the island and then you also have more drawers and cabinets on this side so a lot of storage space and then you saw the side-by-side -side stainless steel appliances now another thing that they did include which I didn't point out in the dining area is these light fixtures the builder went ahead and put in upgraded features such as these light fixtures. Now they do change colors in some of the bedrooms and also outside, so that's another plus. And they're also LED, so they're gonna save us on that electricity bill because we like to save money. <laughs> so now enough about the social area. Let's go ahead and take a look at those bedrooms. All right, so now we are walking into the hallway that is two feet right of the home when you walk in, where we're gonna have the first two bedrooms, which are very spacious, let me tell you. So now we're walking into this first bedroom. It is facing the front of the home. We have a nice double pane, double wide window. So definitely an added protection for those of you who ask like, are these windows safe? Are they uh, hurricane proof? They're not hurricane windows, but they are hurricane proof. Now this bedroom is big. You can definitely fit a queen size bed, even potentially fit a king size bed, depending on um, how you lay the room out. Maybe if you put the bed this way, you can definitely fit it. If not, a queen bed over here would fit with your um, dresser or whatever you want on this side, maybe a little chair here. And then you have the plugs right there for your nightstands if you're somebody who likes those. Now, we do also have the fans included in the bedrooms in this home. So that is another plus, not many builders do that. And then here we have our closet, which is actually pretty spacious. Again, the racks are not here as of right now, um, but the builder is going to be putting them in. You can see very long. I got to stretch my arms to reach the walls. No rack right now, but there will be a standard rack. But if you just want to change it on, do 
a DIY, that's definitely something that you can do here. Now, one of the things that I did want to point out, like I stated earlier, the builder went ahead and put the paint colors. So you literally can move into this home. You can see they did an accent wall on this side and just kind of kept the colors on the other walls. Very standard as they did in the living room. So you're going to see that in the bedrooms here. So now when you walk out of this room to the right, we have our first bathroom. And then we do have the quartz countertops again. But they are different from the ones in the kitchen, but they're still very pretty. And you can see the same colors with the cabinets and the drawers here. All soft clothes. A beautiful mirror with that light. Girls, if you do your makeup and you need a place to have the lighting, this is it. This is where we're going to do our makeup. And now one other feature that I want to point out is this um, faucet here. It does extend, so if you want to kind of just clean out when you're cleaning or if you have two plates or something and you want to clean it out, you have that option. It's a lot easier to clean out the, um, the sink. Now this bathroom does have that standard shower tub combination. We do have the window, which is a plus because I listened to your comments. I know you guys like the bathrooms with the windows and this one has that. And we also have this nice little shelf right here so you can put your uh, soap, maybe your shampoo and your conditioner, your shaver, whatever it is. And it already includes towel hangers and the toilet paper hanger. And then of course, the magic toilet <laughs> now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna walk out of this bathroom and to the right before we get to the second bedroom we have of course the linen closet here now again no racks it doesn't have the doors right now but they're still working on the little small uh, finishes to complete the house so we're walking into the second bedroom and it again is a really spacious bedroom um, it's a little bit smaller than the first one but it's still a really good size the queen size bed, if you want a king size bed, can go on this wall again. The paint with the accent wall finishes. You get one standard window um, facing the side of the home. And then of course we have that closet. Very good size. It's just about the same size as the other one. I'm gonna show you guys because I know this is very important. Again, can't touch the walls. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go to the other side of the home so you can see the primary bedroom, the laundry, and the garage. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and step into this magic laundry room. Now this is a great size laundry room. It does not include washer and dryer, but we of course have the connections. And then it leads us directly into that two car garage through this door. Now the builder did put already um, the paint here so you don't have to worry about coming in unless you want epoxy and doing that it's already taken care of they do include a closet right here so this is great come home if it's a rainy day or it's cold just put your uh, coats right here and your wet shoes you don't have to worry about anything they don't have to go inside and wet the floor and dirty the floor now the builder did give us garage door opener and one of the things that i like about well two things that i like about this um, garage is that it already includes the sink right here so if you're somebody who has pets or maybe you like to um clean certain things here your mop your mop or whatever the case may be you have that sink and it also has cabinets so you don't have to worry about it you can store different things down here now another thing is that they do have a side door entrance so if you're having a get together um, and you maybe want to have it in the garage, not inside the house, the guests can come in through here, or you can just open the garage uh, door. But this is another entrance here. If you maybe have your trash can outside, with a, if you put a fence and have a trash can outside, then you can um, walk in, throw your trash out. No problem. That is something that not many builders are doing right now. Now, the other thing to this side is that they have this space right here. So if you're somebody who, um, like me, I have a storage cabinet, I like to um, have my garage organized. So you can put a storage cabinet on this side or if you maybe want a workstation, this is definitely a nice spot for you to go ahead and set up your little workstation. It has a lot of outlets in this garage, so you can definitely get a lot done here. Now enough about the garage, we're gonna go back inside and we're gonna see that primary bedroom. All right, so now we're gonna walk into that primary bedroom. Now I love, love love the lighting in this bedroom you have the tray ceilings you have multiple lights and you have the fan with the light there you can definitely fit a king size bed in this bedroom again great lighting very spacious we do have that walk-in closet right over here again the builder has not put in the racks just yet but just to give you an idea it is a great size closet you have some space over here and then you also have all of the space here to do your thing if you want to do a diy kit this is 
gray closet to go ahead and buy that DIY kit. So now we're gonna go ahead and go into the primary bathroom. All right, so now we're walking into the primary bathroom and I really, really like this bathroom. It's the standard size, but what they did to it, the finishes that they did, make the bathroom feel very comfortable. Um, it's just it's really nice in here. So they have the same countertop that they did in the other bathroom. And then of course we have the drawers and the cabinet, that same mirror for us to get ready. And one of my favorite things is this shower. It's very wide, so it makes it a lot more comfortable to be in. We have the, um, the shower head, we have the shelves here, and of course we have the window. Now we have ceramic tile, I didn't mention this in the other bathroom, but the ceramic tile, they don't go all the way to the top, but just about, it's, it's pretty high, not all the way up, just a little bit more we've been there. And then we have this nice um, design here on the bottom. Very nice, very comfortable. And then we have this wall here, and we also have this um, wall down here so that we don't have to worry about the water coming out into the floor. It's actually a lot lower than the floor, so that's great. Now we do have a toilet here, however, it is not a private toilet. So if you're somebody who likes a private toilet, we don't have that. Um, but we do have a wall here that kind of gives you some privacy. It just doesn't have a door, so you can come here. Nobody's gonna see what you're doing, unless they're coming in through the front door, which I don't see that happening. But we have um, this wall here that's gonna give us that privacy. All right, so now we're stepping out into the covered lanai, which is a really big covered lanai. It's long, it's wide. You can definitely put a um, table here with four to six chairs on this side, and then you can put a nice couch on this side. And as I stated before, this builder did put a fan uh, with the light here outside in the covered lanai. But just imagine what you can do here. I mean, look at how big this is. This is huge. We can definitely have our barbecues here with our family. And on top of that, we have that 0.34 acre lot, which we can fence in because there is no HOA and no CDD. You might have to get a permit, but that's very easy to get, especially when it's just something for a fence. But you can close it out and it's gonna give you so much space to do whatever you want. If you wanna put a pool, if you wanna do a trampoline, a playground for the kids, if you just wanna have something for you guys to have like game nights, you can definitely do that. Baseball field back here, <laughs> we're not gonna do that. But um, if you have kids who like to play baseball, or if you like to play um, catch with your kids, definitely a really big backyard. I live on a 0.23 acre lot, I just closed it in and it is big. I can only imagine how this would look once it has a fence and it just closed. But enough about this wonderful backyard. We're gonna go ahead and go inside where we're gonna talk about the financial details about this home. Thank you for sticking around and watching this beautiful home tour until the end. Now let's go ahead and go into details about the finances for a home just like this one here in Marriott Oaks. Now just to give you guys a breakdown about the home that we saw in today's video, it is a three bedroom, two bathroom home with a two car garage sitting on a 0.34 acre lot 2,209 square feet. This is definitely one of the bigger homes here in Marion Oaks. The room sizes are great. The living area is great. Kitchen is huge with all amazing finishes. Just a little fun fact, the builder for this model actually builds hotels and they included some of the finishes in this um, home, which is why the price is where it's at and how come you, you even have some of these things because they do it to their hotel, so they're gonna do it on their homes as well. So a house like this is listed for $364,000. Now, just to give you guys a little bit of information, you can buy this home with zero down using a USDA loan. If you wanna put something for a down payment or maybe use the money for a down payment to pay down your interest rate so you have a lower monthly payment, that is something that you can do. So zero down with using the money that you have towards interest rate buy down will give you a great monthly payment. And if you choose to buy this home with an FHA loan, it's gonna be a little over $12,000. And if you choose to buy this home with a conventional loan, it's gonna be a little over 17,000, almost $18,000 a month. Now I'm gonna have that information listed for you down below in the description. So you're gonna see the um, bedroom sizes, the price, the down payment amounts, a little bit more information about USDA loans, everything else that you need to know for um, a home like this now now I do want to point out that the prices here in the Ocala area are starting to go up there is a lot of demand here in Ocala but we can always negotiate pricing and try to get you uh, the home that you are looking for at a decent price just look around at some of the homes that we have 
here but i do want to let you guys know that in case you do see some of the prices increasing you know why we still have homes around 260 270 but um in the future you might start seeing them go up a little bit i know that a lot of people are saying that the prices are going to go down but they are in fact continuing to increase they're not expected to go down the interest rate is expected to go down but not the prices so just keep that in mind it's definitely a good time to buy right now before the prices start going up especially when the rates go down because it's going to be like a big war like black friday um when you buy a home when the rates are low just like we did two years ago you know the interest rates were at twos and you couldn't find a home so it's going to be the same situation so it's definitely good idea to buy now and then if you want to refinance later then do that in the future but that's just something i wanted to point out to you guys now i want to be able to assist you i want to guide you in your process from beginning to end of buying a home here in the beautiful state of florida and i want to help you win with lending